What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today we have Tennessee State's the top against Tennessee State's top eight. Uh, we're left with eight people left in the tournament. Whoever makes it out of the eight, top eight is the champion of Tennessee State's. And on the left we have Kevin Murphy. We've already seen him once playing as Mega Manetric Ho O -Oh deck. Uh, Mega Manetric with the Turbo Bolts doing a, you know power up your Pokemon on your bench. You can attack with Ho O -Oh or the Jolteon. Uh, Jolteon is good against you know Night March decks, which we have seen a lot in the tournament. It makes our basic Pokemon cannot hurt your Jolteon if you attack it. The following turn, uh, max max elixirs to get out your energies fairly quickly. Like I said, we already seen this list, but if you give me a second, we'll see the player on the right and see what they're playing. All right, and on the right we have Dalen playing his Tyrantium Bronzong deck. Uh, before this round, in round seven, we saw Noah Sawyer playing this deck, and they actually played the same sixty cards list. So we're seeing we're seeing the same deck again, but it is pilot about different person. So Tyrantium. Did make top eight, so it's gonna be Mega Magic versus Tyrantrum. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Uh, Dalen does have the Giratina, which can't be hurt by Mega Pokemon, and uh, you have the Ty Ty Tyrantrum, which can get through the Gel Town. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in this match. But hopefully, he enjoys both these lists, and let's see the game right now. All right, guys, here it is Tennessee State's top eight. Like I said, on the left, we have Kevin Murphy playing his Mega Manetric. Ho oh, oh, Jolteon deck, and on the right we have Dalen playing his Tyrantrum, Bronzong, Giratina, Age of Slash deck. So many different attackers in these decks. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Now, like I said earlier, Dalen does have the Giratina, which makes where uh, Mega Pokemon cannot hurt him, like you know Kevin's Mega Manetric. But Kevin does play a Hex Maniac to bypass that. So we'll see what happens. Both players are setting up. Gonna get seven new cards in their hand, and let's see what's going to happen. Now, Dalen can also use Tyrantrum with the Muscle Band. It can knock out a Mega Manetric. Oh man, that's scary! Because uh, it does 190 plus a Muscle Band, 210 damage, which is not good for Kevin at all. But we'll see what happens. Who wins this match? And let's see. Okay, so we see that Kevin is going first. Gets the Lightning Energy Attachment. Sycamore discarded his hand. Discarded two Water, a Fire, a Z, and a VS Seeker. He gets multiple, uh, what is it, multiple energies in the discard pile. And there we see Hoopa. He's going to use the Scoundrel Ring. Search for three EX Pokemon. Most likely, you know, Ho-Oh, maybe a Mega Manetric for the next turn. And maybe a Shaman. Uh, it looks like just a regular Manetric, Ho-Oh, and a Shaman. That was close. Uh, okay, so we're going to see a cut. And let's see, Manetric, Ho-Oh, a Floatstone onto that Hoopa. A Fighting Fury onto the Ho-Oh EX. A Max Elixir going to look at top six cards of his deck. Does he get any energy? Does not seem like he got one. All right. And let's see. I, know, I think Kevin has another Max Elixir in his hand. We'll see if he does or not. Can he get the Ho-Oh start powering up? There's a Max Elixir. Yep, he did have the other. There's a Grass Energy going to touch the Ho-Oh EX. It does need three different types of energies. Then plus... A fire to activate its activate its ability. Uh, it needs a water, a lightning, and grass to use his attack. There's a shaman. Looks like he's strong. Four cards. And he has a link and a mega manetric in his hand. Wow. So there's a spirit coming down. Next turn he can mega evolve, attach, and start using turbo bolt. So on Dalen's turn, he gets down the Skyfield. Bunnaby comes down. Sycamore discarding a Sacred Ash and a Sycamore. Or no, he discarded something else besides Sycamore. I can't remember what it is. Uh, but there's a Hydrogen. Bronzor, Bronzor coming out. So two Bronzors and just a pass on a Kevin's turn. We see a Mega Manetra coming down. We see a Smeargle, which has the second code ability. Makes it where you can change the active Pokemon's energy to something else in your discard pile. We see a Via Seeker for Sycamore discarding an Ultra Ball, something else. And he does find a Grass Energy. That is great because he can attach it for the turn. Use Turbo and start powering up probably the Ho-Oh EX. I think it's probably your best, maybe one of your best stackers in the game. All right, and so we're going to see Turbo Bolts, and let's see. So Battle Compressor, going to discard cards out of his deck. Maybe some supporter cards. There's a Lightning Energy. Oh, he probably doesn't have one in the discard pile, so he probably needs to use that to power up the Ho-Oh EX. And a Hex Maniac and a Lysander. Now, like I said, the Hex Maniac is definitely can be used to shut down Giratina. But not only that, it can shut down Bronzongs, which is what uh, Dalen really needs. We see a Grass Energy going to the active. Rough Seas coming down, and we'll see... Kevin discard a Shaman, which is great. He kind of got rid of the uh, low HP EX Pokemon. And we'll see a Turbo Bolt doing 110, attaching a Water and a Lightning to that Ho EX. And on Dalen's turn, we see a Trainer's Mall going to grab the Ultra Ball, uh, going to play it, discarding a Metal and an AZ. Maybe getting a Shaman, maybe a Hydrogen. Let's see what it goes for. 
Looks like he's going to go Hoopa, search, uh, get out a Shaman, Hydrogen, and a Titan Rantrum. Now, there is a rough season play, so Dalen will need to get a Skyfield out to give up to eight bench Pokemon. Let's see, does he have another one? He does have a Skyfield. Bronze on coming down. Uh, Tyrantrum, uh, Muscle Band to the bench. Uh, Hydrogen, Shaman, setting up for six. Wow, that is crazy. All right, and let's see what else does he have. Can he get another Bronze Zong down and a Double Dragon Energy? We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Aegis Slash and a Bronze Zong to get out the Bronze Zong. And we see a Battle Compressor going probably discarding Metal Energy. There's only one in there right now. Uh, it's something else and a, a license. I'm not sure what the other card is. I apologize for that. But we could see Tyrantium on the bench take a knockout on this help, this mag, this Metric X. We see double Metal Links, a, a double Dragon Energy retreat, and we'll see a knockout on this ho oh, this Mega Metric. Wow. Yep, that does 210 damage, and uh, Kevin's in a weird spot. Uh, Dalen got everything he needs, and let's see the Hoopa coming to the Axe spot does have the Flow Stone. We see a Trainer's Mall go look at top four cards of his deck. And let's see what he decides to grab. I saw a VS Seeker in there. And like I said, he could VS Seeker for Hex Maniac, but I'm not sure how great that is right now. It does make it where Daily can't attack next turn because he needs... Well, he could uh, double Dragon maybe onto the uh, Tyrant from the bench. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, what does he decide to go for? Does he grab the VS Seeker? Does he have another supporter card? Because if he VS Seekers for a Hex Maniac and it doesn't have another supporter card next turn... He's going to be in trouble as well. So he's going to grab a Super Rod. Uh, going to shuffle back in a Lightning. Um, Let's see. A Mega Manetric and a Shebe. All right. Going to shuffle those three into the deck. All right. Maybe there wasn't a VS Seeker in there. Maybe he already has like a Sycamore and doesn't want to play for the turn. Uh, or a Judge. There we go. So I'm going to put both players at four cards. All righty. And let's see what happens. Now, can Kevin find a Rough Seas to bump that Skyfall and put a Dalen Minus up to uh, five cards. I mean, he'll probably just discard like Shaman and Hoopa, most likely. Um, there we see a uh, fire energy going out. Is that a fire energy attachment to the bench? A uh -oh, EX or a uh, lightning? I can't say. Looks like a fire energy. And we'll see an elemental feather doing 140. And uh, let's see, where does that 30 go? I'm pretty sure it's 140. And it looks like it's going to put on the other Tyrantium. So that Tyrantium is up to 140 on the bench. And that Tyrantium in the Axe Spot is almost knocked out as well. All right, so we see Dalen using the Trainer's Mill. Look at top four guards of his hand. And let's see what he decides to get. Uh, he's debating. I think I see a Golden VS Seeker in the far right. And a Energy in some other Trainer card. He already has a VS Seeker in his hand. Does he really need another one is the big question. He can't knock out Ho OEX currently because it has too much HP, even if he does get a fresh bra uh, a fresh Tyrantium. So we see a VS Seeker coming to his hand. He already does have one. Maybe he wants to pull like back to back Lysander's knockouts on EX Pokemon, like Lysander the Hoopa. Or Lysander the Manetric taking a knockout, then Lysander the Hoopa taking the knockout the following turn. We see a VS Seeker going to grab a Lysander. Like I said, he could bring up that Manetric EX. Double Metal Links to the Tyrantium. And, ooh, oh, oh, hold on. We're going to see Retreat. Uh, double Energy Attachment. There we go. And uh, Double Metal Links probably onto the other, t uh, just to the Tyrantium. Oh, okay, on the Bunnelby to get back his Double Dragon Energies if he needs to. And we'll see Tyrantium using it, discarding all four of those Double Dragons, or two Double Dragons to take a knockout. And he's at two prize cards left. And let's see what happens uh, you know, Kevin does have a VS Seeker. He could Hex Maniac this turn and take a double, uh, like, four price cards on those Tyrantrums. I'm pretty sure he could do that. Um, I think the Tyrantrum on the bench is... And the the damage counter is kind of hard to read. Um, it has 140. It looks like another 140. Hex Maniac going to retreat. And I think this Elemental Feather is going to knock out both Tyrantrums. Let's see. Is that going to happen? There's a knockout. And where does the other 30 go to? Now 30 owns it. Okay, that Terra Trump's 110, 140, 170. It must have 180 HP. Um, that's why it doesn't get knocked out. But still, Kevin's in a really good position. Next turn, he can knock out the Bunnelby and a Tyrantrum. Going down to one price guard. And, oh, he could bring a Shaman and then knock out the other Tyrantrum as well. We see a Fulster going down to Hoopa. And let's see. Ooh. Now, Dalen does have a Parallel City. He could put his bench down to three and discarding, like, the sick, like the Shaman of the Hurt type Ranchum. And I think that's what we're going to see. He's going to put himself down to three, discard all those Hurt Pokemon. Wow. And then we'll see a Sycamore discard his hand, draw seven new cards. And he's put his hand down to, oh. 
Oh, no, he, he, okay. So he put Kevin down to three, and he put himself just where he does less damage. Okay, so either way, that was smart. That was a really smart play. Just, you know, being able to discard those Shaman, that Shaman and the Hurt uh, Tarantula was very, very good. Looks like we might see a Burrow and a Bur I mean, Rototiller and Rototiller get back a double Dragon Energy and a Tyrantia. All right, and on a Kevin's turn, I mean, he can take a knockout on this Bunnelby, putting 30 probably onto a Bronzong or maybe, uh, and like three shot of Bronzong on the bench. We see a Lightning Energy, Sycamore, discard his hand, John seven new cards. He does have a Rough Seas, okay. He could put that down. There's a Max Elixir, gonna look at top six cards of his deck. Gonna get a Water Energy to the other ho -Oh. so he has two ho -Ohs. Ready to go. Well, the other one needs a grass energy, but he can use Smeargle to change that fire into a grass, which is very great. And let's see what will you decide to do. Like I said, he could put another rough seas. Not really sure what it does for Kevin right now. Uh, his, you know, he really doesn't need to drop any more Pokemon. And there's another Max Elixir. Gonna look at top. He does have a lightning energy. He could put that on the bench. Ho, -oh, then retreat. Switch it to a grass energy. Be a okay. Which is pretty neat later on if he does decide to do that. Well, let's see what else does. I mean, Kevin's going to take a knockout this turn. That's for sure. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Mega Manetric and a Spear Link, maybe. Going to grab the Shaman EX. I'm not really sure what he's going to dig for with the Shaman. If he does decide to play it, I think I would just hold on to it. There we see knockout 30 onto the Hoopa. All right, so the Hoopa is up to 140 HP. There we see an Ultra Ball discarding a Giratina and an Ultra Ball. Double Metal Links, Dragon, VS Seeker. Wow! Oh my goodness, that was all in his hand. Okay, so he he Dragon Energy, Double Metal Links, VS Seeker, Life Center, bring up the Hoopa, and take the game because it has 190 damage. That Parallel City saved Dalen. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I don't know if Kevin had a VS Seeker for Life Center in the following turn. Like, he's Sycamore, but I'm not sure if there was a VS Seeker in there. If there was a VS Seeker in his hand before he, uh, before he Sycamore, if Dayla didn't play the Par Parallel City, Kevin could have won that game, taking four prize cards off the Shaman and on that bench Tyrant jump. So that was a really, really close top eight. Wow, that was a great match. Uh, both players got set up, got everything they needed. Uh, Dayla, is, of course, you know, he got the turn two, like, double Bronzong attack. Uh, pretty crazy. But let's see what happens on oh, a game number two that is, you know, states like always is best. Two out of three, whoever wins game number one, uh, the loser gets to decide if they want to go first, second. I'm not sure why I say the winner, but the loser gets decide they want to go first, second, and I imagine Kevin wants to go first. Dalen does need at least two turns to set up um, before uh, two turns before he starts attacking. Here we go, setting up. What happens? Can we see Kevin have a crazy max looks return or not? There we go. Both players get six prize cards, and let's see what happens onto round or game number two of Tennessee State's top eight. All right, so there is a Giratina, a Tyrantium. There's a Hoopa. Going to use that Scoundrel once again. Going to search for three EX Pokemon. It seems like Kevin's Hoopa is always just, you know, he's always being by Kevin's side. He's not hiding. I think Kevin only plays one, if I remember correctly. Uh, so he, you know, never prizing the one is great. I think all the games I've seen him, he's always had it when he's needed it, maybe. Uh, but there we see a Manetric, a Ho-Oh, and maybe a Shaman EX. He does have, like, double Max Lister Lightning Energy. So he can easily get this turn to, like, Mega Manetric going off. Uh, we see a Manetric EX as well. Maybe he wants to use Manetric EX early game and then later on use Ho-Oh EX. We see a Max looks to look at top six cards of his deck. He does have a Grass Energy. He attached it to a Ho-Oh. Looks like he's going to actually go for the Manetric EX. Uh, you know, like, I guess early game, you want a Turbo set of multiple Ho-Ohs that way. And then you want to use uh, the other Ho later on. We see a Max Luxor one more time. And there's a Water Energy. He could put down that Ho EX. I really don't think he needs to attach to the other Manetric. He does have a Lightning Energy in his hand, so he can Lightning Energy. And then next turn, maybe start using Turbolt. He needs a way to retreat this Ho oh, oh, though. All right, so let's see what else does Kevin have in his hand. He has a Trainer's Mode. Look at top four guards of his deck. Could grab the Ultra Ball if he wants to. Uh, looks like he's going to grab the Spear Link to try to guarantee that turn two. Mega Manetric, which isn't bad at all. Like, getting the turn two guaranteed. You know, can't complain about that. Alright, and we'll see a Lightning going to Manetric. We'll see a Spirit Link. Shaman set up for five. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so Kevin currently does not have a way to retreat this hoe. I didn't see it. There's a Fighting Fury going to the bench. He does have an Ultra Ball, Lysander, Spirit Link, and an Energy, which... You know, are not the best cards, but we'll see he pass on a Dalen's turn, and let's see, what does he have? He has an Ultra Ball, 
So you could get at least one bronze on, a bronze ore out. We see a discarded bronze on and a Jirachi. Uh, most likely getting the bronze ore unless he doesn't have a supporter card. Then he'll probably grab Shaman EX. Let's see what he decides to get. Going to get that bronze ore. Going to battle compressor, discard a metal, metal, and then a supporter card. Yep, discarding a Lysander, which is great to have later on for your VS Seekers. Uh, because you know the Lysander's in the discard pile. Alrighty. And let's see what else does he have. Does he have a supporter card, a double dragon energy, and a sycamore? Discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Like, he's just, Dalen's just always having everything he needs. There's a trainer's mall. Look at top four. Uh, looks like he actually might whiff on this one. I think there's a, there's a, uh, flowstone in there. Maybe, yeah, oh, okay, sycamore. Okay, gonna grab the sycamore. I'm not sure what else was in there. Maybe he doesn't have a supporter card. So he's guaranteed the supporter card for the following turn, which, you know, you can't complain about that. Let's see. Okay, so we see a pass. Oh, to Kevin's turn. Does Kevin have way to retreat this Ho-O-E-X? It does not seem like it. His hand is full. I mean, his, his bitch is full, so he can't Ultra Ball for another Shaman. We see a Water Energy and just a pass. So there's a Bronze on coming down. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Parallel City and something else to get out of Bronze Ore. All right. And let's see what else does he have. Um, he has. We know he has Sycamore in his hand because he trained as well for the Sycamore. There's a Metal Lynx, a Scape Rope. Let's see, who does Kevin decide to send up? Now, we know Dalen does have the double dragon in his hand. He's kind of saying, how huh, I don't really have anything, but Kevin's going to promote this Shebe, and it's physically get smacked by a Tyrant. I mean, he does have the double dragon. There's a VS Seeker for the Lysander. E either way, wow. And we'll see a knockout on that Manetric EX saying, hey, I know you're powering up that Manetric EX, but uh, he's not attacking this turn. All right, on to Kevin's turn. He does have a Lysander, a Lightning Energy to Manetric EX. Lysander, bring up the Bronzong. It does have a hefty retreat cost. And we'll probably see a pass on the Dalen's turn. Alright, there's a Metal Lynx. Switch. Does he have an energy attachment? Sycamore, discard his hand. Draw seven new cards. Can he find an energy to attach for the turn to take another knockout? There's a Trainer's Mall probably grabbing the Ultra Ball. He already has a Shaman in his hand, so he can use Ultra Ball and thin his deck out some. It looks like he's eyeballing Sacred Ash. But I think grabbing the Ultra Ball is the better play. Just to thin your hand down some. There's a discarding Aegis Slash and a Hoopa. Uh, this will probably grab a Tyrantrum. There we go. And then it'll Shaman. And then can he find another energy to knock out this Ho-O-E-X? And if he does, Kevin's going to be in a bad spot. He hasn't even attacked once. I mean, his hand's just really bad. We'll see a Shaman set up. And it looks like he got the Skyfield. Uh, Hydrogen, Hydrogen, Retreat into Giratina. And just a pass. So he did whiff the energy. But Kevin... Still doesn't have anything. He has a top deck of Grass Energy. He does have an Ultra Ball. So if he does have another Shaman in the deck, he could grab it. Uh, discards a Grass and a Fire Energy. Going to grab probably the Shebe. All right. And let's see. Can Kevin find a way to retreat this Ho OEX and uh, attack with this uh, Mega Manetric? But like I said, Mega Manetric is not going to hurt this Giratina because of its ability. We see Shaman drawn up to five. There's a Mega Man. And he does already have a Spear Link on that Mega Manetric, which is great. Alright, so Kevin's going to see what's all in there. I don't think he can retreat this ho -Oh, though. I think it has a, a 2 retreat cost. There's a Mega Manetric coming down. And let's see what else he decides to do. Kevin's bench is filled as well. Well, there's Parallel City out, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, we see a Fire Energy attachment to the ho -Oh EX. And a VS Seeker for the Lysander. One more time. Bring it up that bronze on, see if we can get it stuck in the active spot. We'll probably just see a pass. Rough seas. Uh, Dalen's got discards a Pokemon, discards a Giratina, and the two Shamans. So we see a Flowstone coming down. He does Flowstone the bronze on, and he can maybe win this turn. Let's see. Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. I mean, bronze on and Bradle Compressor. Okay, oh no, he doesn't win yet. Okay, I don't know what else. Oh, because he didn't get attack last turn. That's what it was. Yeah, he, he whiffed attack last turn, but they received a bunch, oh my goodness, like double metal links, a knockout, and now he has his Tyrantra ready for the following turn, and they received life center, and Dalen wins this game, wow, wow, that is, that is crazy, Kevin just didn't have anything, and uh, just had a really bad time, but there we go, we see Dalen advance to top four with his Tyrantrum Giratina deck, I mean, he just really didn't have anything, and that, you know, oh, he would have sick him for like three more turns. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Game one was a little bit better to watch for sure. Uh, but Dalen on that final two turns got too many energies out. Uh, and that Tyrantrum was just going to swing over and over again to take knockouts. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.